Hey everyone, what is good? Welcome back to the channel. This is Silver Hyena and for today's video, um, I have a lot as you can see. A, a mini a lot. Anyways, these are th these little art kits that I found at my local Wally World and they were on an outrageously good sale, which is why I got four of them. So we've got this mini coloring travel kit. I think it comes with colored pencils, it's got an eraser, and it's got a pencil sharpener. We've got the watercolor, which is actually the one that I'm both looking forward to the most and also the most nervous about. Just because I love watercolor kits, but um, yeah, I'm not expecting anything spectacular out of that. We've got this other coloring travel kit that's got markers, and then we've got a mini sketch travel kit and these are very small and lightweight so I could really see them being useful for well traveling anyways um I'd say it's time to uh get all this awful plastic off of here and uh crack these puppies open Okay, so here is the magnificent bounty we have before us. I want to take a look at the little mini coloring book. Oh wow, when they say mini, they really mean it. Oh, these are these are actually some pretty nice images. The paper is kind of eh, not great, but what do you expect? It's a little thing that I got for like a buck fifty. Okay, so it's. Let's take a look at the one that came in the marker. Oh, some of these are like really intricate, but I think that they're a bit too small. Oh, I like the frog. <laughs> the frog's cute. I have a warp checkerboard, a rainbow. Oh, roses. Oh, and I like the flamingo. Oh, and crystals. I do love me some crystals. And something that's just geometric and random. So what I was gonna do was I was gonna swatch out these supplies, and by swatch, I mean, um, like, color in the books, and, like, this one has a swatch shirt, and what is this? Okay, so this one, it's got, like, a follow the directions sort of deal. Oh, I like the kitty. I, I do like kitties. Okay, so that's actually kind of neat. Like, especially if uh, you're not sure really how to draw, like, just kind of a, like, just, like, you know, help ease people in, but what I wanted to do was sketch, or not sketch, swatch all of these supplies out, see how they operate, and then in the next video, I got my sketchbook here, do a full illustration with all of these supplies, like a big mixed media piece. I just thought that could be a lot of fun. Yeah, I think. Anyways, and also, like, just one little thing to note. All of these tins are kind of plain on top. So, I'm gonna do a bit of arts and crafts time with this because I've got scissors and I've got double-sided tape, which will also be handy for that. So... Okay, here's a few quick notes on these. As a whole, 
Uh, there's a reason these art kits were so cheap. No way to get around it. Truth be told, I'm kind of glad I didn't spend the three bucks each they were originally going for. First up, these watercolors. This is not my first experience with mediocre, chalky watercolors. Probably won't be my last either, I'll bet. The markers are tiny. Tiny water-based markers that are cheap. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if these things simply evaporated in the Texas summer heat. The colors weren't nearly as bright as I was hoping for. Again, what can you expect for a buck fifty off the clearance rack? Oh boy, if I thought that the markers were muted, these poor, poor colored pencils. It's as if they might have been near some pigments at some time? Maybe? Anyways, in a word, weak. The pigments are just weak. The only colored pencils that I've personally used that have been worse were from the Dollar Tree. Or those Leisure Arts color pencils. Those things were awful. Also, you're gonna get a sore wrist sharpening these teeny tiny things. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 pass. And that brings us to the graphite pencils. And while they do still have the teeny tiny problem of the colored pencils, I honestly think that these grayscale drawing sketching pencils are actually the best out of the art supplies. Kind of a best of the worst, honestly, but <clears throat> that's beside the point. The, the paper, however, that's another story. I've used printer paper with better quality. However, sharpening these tiny things, like, it isn't fun. The novelty is cute, but I'd recommend picking up a full-size travel sketch set for on-the-go, personally. Just go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby, or possibly even Joanne's. You'll find something way better at one of those places. Alrighty, so are these the most spectacular art supplies ever? Uh, not hardly. Uh, do I think I can actually do something with them? Uh, we'll see. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, I think that this is uh, gonna be rather rather interesting. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of nervous about it, but at the same time, I'm also looking forward to it. So, um, yeah, that's it for this video. Keep an eye out for part two, which hopefully when I upload this, I will have a link in the description below and one of those little eye bubble thingies pop up. And with that being said, um, yeah, this is Silver Hyena signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Oh yeah, and also like, like, and subscribe and all of that stuff. Yay! Anyways, uh, bye!